How's it going everyone? Bryce Green here from Big Kid Blocks and I have another little product demo that I want to show you guys here. So one thing you may notice when you go to a, a car show or you see a nice vehicle online are the gaps and the panel match of that vehicle. Now what I'm referring to are the body gaps. So if you look at this vehicle here, top to bottom, the lines look very, very consistent. Now sometimes you'll notice a build where it's either just too tight or it's too wide or it just has a little bit of a wave to it up and down. That really just kind of draws your eye away from it and it just kind of gives it a look that, you know, it's maybe not to the top quality that it could have been. So what we've done is I've created a tool and I've designed it that I believe is very, very beneficial in executing and getting those door gaps exactly what they need to be. So I want to show you guys the steel gap tool that we have through Big Kid Blocks. Now this gap tool is very awesome for the fact that it's got multiple purposes. Now at the top here you'll see this is called the J hook. Now you got the, the tall side and the short side. Now this is 3 16th bar stock with the knurled center. And on the other end you have the 45 machine degree cut that is very great for anything that you need to scribe along the entire stage of whether metal or body or anything like that. We also have one side is completely flat. Now this helps with understanding where your panel match is between panels. And I'm going to show you guys just a little bit more of this gap tool in action. So what I've done specifically on this Mustang in the metal stage is I went through and you're always going to pick one edge that you're going to work from. So for instance, I'm just going to go ahead and take the edge of this quarter. This is where I started from in the metal stage. So I just came in and I did a little hammer work and made sure that this edge was exactly straight top to bottom and it had a really good look to it. Because everything that you're doing from your foundation is going to mirror to what the edge is of whatever panel you're working on. So once I have this edge completely perfect to where I'm, I'm comfortable with it, I will take that J hook side of this gap tool. Now I'm going to run the long side, the tall side, on the edge of the quarter. And then my short side of the J that's really sharp is going to run along that door, that door edge. And it's going to be scribing anything that is too tight. And so it's going to leave a perfect 3 16 line all the way down there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to grind to that line. And it's very possible that you're going to split through the seam of that door flange. And so what you're going to do is you're going to come back in and you're going to weld up that door edge. You're going to have enough penetration that it goes deep enough, but you want it sticking out just a little bit so you can come in after the fact again with the J-hook side of your gap tool and scribe over that weld. And so when it's all said and done, you're grinding all the way back to that line again, and now you have a perfect mirrored image parallel 3 16th gap top to bottom one of whatever you're working on. Now with that being said too, with the panel match side of this, is you know say you've got your quarter edge is really nice but then your door edge is dropped in a little bit well so by taking this gap tool you can just set it right on that between the two panels and that's going to show you where one of those edges might be a little too low or too high and so all you got to do is either come in and hammer it up or hammer it down and try and get that straightness between the two and so you do that on any any panel that you're working on and it really gives the vehicle a completely different look and in my opinion, panel matching and gapping doesn't take a lot of time at all. It's very effortless, effortless, honestly, when it comes down to it, because all you're doing is grinding some metal, welding it back up, just shaping it a little bit, and then you're good to go. So that's the portion of the body gap tool um, in the steel portion from you know metal to body work stage. And we understand that when things go back together after they're painted and cleared, all those edges have just a little bit more, more material applied to them. So we've also come up with the composite gap tool. Now this is perfect for when you're reassembling the vehicle. The thickness of it is just a little bit thinner than what the steel gap tool is to accommodate for that paint and clear. Now both ends also are flat to help you visualize where you're at with the panel match uh, portion of it. So between these two tools you're able to get that show car finish with not a lot of work. You know, it's just a matter of having the right tools and understanding how to use them properly. So I highly recommend that you guys go to bkblocks.com, get yourself a set of these ordered for your next project or whatever project you're working on right now, and just take your game to, a, to the next level just a little bit more by getting those gaps in the panel matched all figured out. 
And also make sure to follow us on YouTube as we're going to have more videos on there. Freddie this week has been doing some uh, painting demos that we're going to upload this week and talk about you know, matte clear coat and all that types of stuff. That way you guys will be able to understand the paint process too a little bit more. And with that being said, we very much want to hear your guys' feedback and what you're interested in learning. So feel free to send us a request of something that you want us to do or demo and we'll be able to go ahead and show you guys how we would do that on any show car that we're gonna be working on. So just shoot us a message or in a comment, whatever, and let's see if we can get you guys taken care of and continually ask us questions. You know, we are just so grateful for the support you guys have given us thus far, and we really wanna just continue on with this whole big kid blocks how-to type stuff. So whatever we can do to make your projects go easier, just let us know, and thank you guys so much, and we appreciate it. So get out there and keep killing it.